Okay, we're going to learn how to create an embeddable YouTube playlist. Since they've changed things at YouTube, it's not really clear how to do it on the YouTube site, but I've figured out how to do it and have a workaround for you that will work just fine. So first thing you want to do is go to YouTube. Let's turn new tab here. And go to the playlist sections. Pull down here to playlists and just decide which playlist that you want to embed. So for instance, I'm going to click on the Back to the Garden videos. Now you need now the next thing you need to do is find the playlist ID. And the way you do that is by clicking on Play All. If you look down here, right here on the left-hand side or at the bottom, you'll see the URL. So you want to actually right-click on that, copy the address, put it up here in the URL window. The playlist idea is going to be the number directly following P equals. That's playlist equals. So you want to copy this number right here all the way up to the and sign. That's the only number that you need. So let's go control X to uh, cut that. And the next thing you're going to do is open up the code which I have for you under bud. This is, this is where we're going to get the embeddable code for your embeddable player. budurl.com slash budurl.com slash YouTube, sorry, start that again, budurl.com slash embed video, budurl.com slash embed video. Okay, now, let's copy, okay, if you look, this will give you the directions right here, numbers one through four, at the bottom is the playlist code. And the parts in red you need to replace with the playlist number that you just selected. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do this in Notepad. So I'm going to open up Notepad. Or any kind of Notepad will work. If you want to go to your left-hand corner and pick out Notepad here, let's just do that. Okay, I'm going to put in the number. I just pasted it right there. And I'm going to go get the playlist code from the site that I just showed you. We copied this part right here only. So we right click to copy that. And we go to our notepad. We paste that. Now we're going to take the playlist ID and replace it here. Boom. Like that. Like that. Now, there's a couple of parameters in here you might want to change. The width and height to your liking is right here. I'm um, always going to do that proportionally. And you have to change it here and here, two places. Just like you had to put the ID in two places, the playlist ID. Now the um, autoplay is on because it says true. If you change that to false, it'll turn autoplay. So that when your playlist comes up, it, if you want it to automatically start playing, you want that value to be true. If you, you want the user to press play, then you want to change value to false. After you've changed those variables and have the playlist to your liking, you copy this paste it in wherever you like on any website and it should come up fine. Let's test that real quick. So I'm um, control A, copy. Let's go over to Blogger and just make a quick uh, post, new post, edit HTML, paste, compose, preview. And here we go. We have our playlist that is working just fine. As you can see down at the bottom, there are all the videos that are in the playlist. Now let's change the uh, option here that says um, true to false so that it doesn't autoplay. Okay. Let's get out of there. Stop it. New post. Edit HTML. Now let's change value to false. And autoplay over here. I have to do it. Whoop, that's all. That's full screen. Whoops. I changed the wrong one. Okay. Parameter autoplay value false. And it should be twice. Autoplay one. Let's change that to 
zero. Now you notice it's not starting. So there you go. That's what you would change. All right. Hope to see you at stringsattached.org for our music, or if you're looking for music for a wedding, musicforawedding.com.